Check one, two, two, one, two. And now, where indie music comes alive. Broadcasting live worldwide, plus on demand 24 7, and hosted by Hall of Fame personality Dave Pratt. 10, 9, 8, 7. The World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your Top 10 Weekly from WorldMusicStage.com. And now, house lights down. Music up. Now entering the World Music Stage. Your host for the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, Dave Pratt. I'll tell you, got a crazy life. You know, Saturdays hosting World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown and just returned from Burbank and KC from KC and the Sunshine Band was on my flight. <laughs> isn't that weird? That's crazy, isn't it? By the way, he will not be on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown today. I already broke the news to him, okay? We count down the top 10 every Saturday, and now we are heard on nearly 200 radio affiliates throughout the world. And, of course, we are heard on worldmusicstage.com and on the Internet worldwide and on demand through Star Worldwide Network. So listen to the time. That's convenient for you. That is the beauty of On Demand, and that is the beauty of Internet Radio. Now, we're all about indie music. You know that. The artists. We're all about the artists. We're all about the fans. Yeah, everybody who makes up the indie music world. In fact, you're going to meet a lot of those artists today, including a band that we have in studio, and they're all here. There's like 20 of them here. All right, so let's get started. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 countdown. (laughs) Song number 10. Well, the Royal Savages are a harmony-infused indie pop rock band from Fort Worth, Texas. Yeehaw! They do what's right and what is needed to make the world a better place. One person and one decision at a time. Spreading love through music is their passion. That's what they're all about. Kicking us off this week at number 10 on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, The Royal Savages and Bobblehead.
World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown, song number nine. All right, number nine on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, the S-I-N band. S-I-N. You could figure that one out for yourself, right? The S-I-N band. Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. S-I-N claims to be a rare breed of a band that is estimated to outlive most. I like that attitude. Well, here we go. At number nine, S-I-N and Rebel Woman. S-I-N and Rebel Woman. That brings us to number eight. World Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number eight. Via Mistro is from the Windy City. Probably happy over the Cubs. Uh, maybe not. Half the city is White Sox. You got to remember that. You never know. Via Mistro is from the Windy City and hits the hip-hop scene with Chicago State of Mind. Now, Finding their sound from working mics all over Chicago and working in the studio late nights, they made a pact to each other that they'd make music for the people instead of commercializing themselves. And they hit it at number eight. <laughs> 
on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from their album, The Via Mistro Effect, Summertime Chi. A band from Chicago, the Windy City, and it sounds like a fine Chianti. At number eight on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown was Summertime Chi. And we move on to number seven. World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Song number seven. Wichita, Kansas. Hey, my mom's from Wichita. You bet. North High Redskins. Woo! Robin Roberts and Billy Preston have been performing in the Wichita area for nearly a decade. They were selected to play for the Louisiana Swamp. Louisiana Swamp. That's how you got to say it, right? That's a, that's a big festival. And they've also been at the Crawfish Festival in Texas, which is another big one. 
and they're always on the lookout for places to bring their renditions of folk, blues, and bluegrass tunes to the people. At number seven on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, off their album Payday Motors, Robin Roberts and Billy Preston, Afraid. Robin Roberts and Billy Preston, Afraid. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number six. You know, when you think about making it in music, you think about all the traditional ways. You think about being in concert and you think about, you know, recording albums. But what about commercials? There's some money to be made in commercials and in movies and other venues for musical artists. Well, 
You might be asking yourself, who's that mysterious guitar player in the Tylenol commercial? If you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Well, it's none other than J.K. Gully. His career spans over two decades in just about every avenue of music that you can imagine. I mean, tours, albums, television appearances, awards, the guy's done it all. And at number six on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Kishner, Ontario, Canada, off the album Beyond These Walls, J.K. Gully, Lost at Sea. From Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, off the album Beyond These Walls, J.K. Gully and Lost at Sea. And guess what? That already brings us to the top five. World Music Stage Radio. Top ten countdown. Song number five. Uh, let's go international. That's the fun part of World Music Stage. J. Max started out at the age of five as a solo singer in church, encouraged by his musical father and his artistic spiritual mother. He draws from South Africa's various black cultural influences to create a fresh sound and combined with his dancing and choreography, J-Max is a true performer. And we have J-Max on the World Music Stage Top 10 Radio Countdown. How you doing? I'm very well in yourself. Yeah. Now, do you go by J-Max or Justin? I go by J-Max. Okay. And tell us more about your career. Well, what I do is I do a lot of writing producing and I also do a lot of um, uh, like uh, my own like I work with different um, 
techniques with dancing, working with my choreography as well. And what I do is I like to um, be totally different and eccentric when I go on stage. Everything must be um, electro. Um, like working with different sounds, unique, the uniqueness. So it's not African sounds, but I take a lot from different kind of um, genres, but then I call, culminate them together and I come back with a different unique sound. Yeah, and that's part of the culture in South Africa, isn't it? The the performance and a lot of dancing and choreography that comes into the, the music play. That's part of the culture in, in Johannesburg. That's right, yes. Because what I like to do is I like to um, you know, work with also fresh talent. If I'm shooting a video um, or recording a track, when I recorded Sassigal, it took me approximately two years to actually write the actual song to actually come come with the right sound to actually say okay right now this song is actually ready to actually you know to actually put forward to actually actually um come right to actually release and then we, once it's released then i know it's the right song to release at number five on the world music stage radio top 10 countdown from johannesburg south africa off the album kiss of the spider Sassy girl.
And that brings us to number four. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number four. Katie Laurel is a folk rock singer who creates both radio-friendly pop tunes and cinematic songs for film and TV. Remember what I was telling you about J.K.? J.K. Goley? There's a lot of different ways to make money in music. Well, cinematic songs, that's a big deal. So Katie does this for film and television, and the common thread between her cinematic songs and the songs that she creates for radio is the intelligence of her lyrics and the honesty in her voice. And you can hear it at number four on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown from Denver, Colorado, Katie Laurel, Everything I Love. Best ocean. I fell into them like a magic potion. You are everything I love about this life. When you smile, it's a fire cracker. Lights me up. That brings us to the top three. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number three. So this girl has quite the story. Cadence was born in Germany and now lives in Kentucky. Yeah, Germany and Kentucky, they have a lot in common. (laughs) She recently graduated from the Youth School of Performing Arts. She does it all, pretty much. She writes and produces, sings and performs as a solo artist. In fact, she's performed throughout Kentucky, and recently she performed in New Jersey, opening for Fat Joe and Bad Boy Records artist Carl Thomas. Boy, that's a culture change from Kentucky to New Jersey again, and her career is on the fast track. She joins us on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Hi, Cadence. Hello. 
Russell, how are you guys? Great. Are you in Kentucky? I am in Kentucky. <laughs> Do you go by Louisville or Louisville? We say Louisville. Okay. Anything but <laughs> Louisville, like right? Anything but Louisville. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I was uh, so fortunate in my career to have Muhammad Ali on uh, later in his life, and I called it Louisville, and he corrected me. He said, how do you say it? How do you say it again? Louisville. So just forget about the S and forget about the E in it. Just, yeah. just say uh, Louisville. <laughs> yeah, but I figure it's okay to be corrected by Muhammad Ali, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll take it. Hey, so in Kentucky, how was it for you to do a show with Fat Joe and Carl Thomas in New Jersey? What was that experience like? It was amazing. It was honestly, it, it was a it was a phenomenal experience. And I even got to speak with Carl Thomas for a while, and he gave me a few pointers. And it, it was really a phenomenal experience, and I'm very grateful to have done it. At number three on the World Music Stage Radio Top Ten Countdown, Cadence was Safe Haven. I think it's safe to say that she can sing. It was great talking to her, too. Cadence from Kentucky, but going worldwide on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. That brings us to the top two. 
World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. Song number two. Yeah, I remember this guy. Good dude. In fact, I spoke with him before, Johnny Michael. He released his first EP, Let Love Rain, last year and has since been opening for groups such as the legendary Charlie Daniels Band, Little River Band, Josh Turner, and now he is working on his second album. Or, Johnny, is your second album out now? Uh, currently, I'm working on my second album, and I'm right now I'm staying in Los Angeles, and uh. I've been recording that and uh, hoping to get that out in the next few months. All right, and I understand you're hanging out with big celebrities there in Los Angeles. Is that true? Um, yeah, that's true. I am actually getting some of the songs produced by Tommy Lee from Motley Crue, and uh, it's been a great experience. He's been amazing to work with, and you know, I've been idolizing him my whole life, but now to get to work with him is so cool because he's just a regular guy. He's super nice and so passionate about the music. Yeah, and I understand he's a decent drummer. Is that true? Very, very true, yeah. <laughs> you know, the funny thing about Tommy is he never sits still. And in true drummer's fashion, uh -huh. even like when you interview him, he's always got his fingers going on the table. You go to lunch with him, right? He's always, like, oh, playing the silverware. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually really true. I mean, we're in the studio, and he's always rocking out to the songs and stuff. And yeah. He's got so much energy. He's a great guy to be around. You know, Johnny, everybody thinks of Tommy Lee just as drummer of Motley Crue and crazy guy and, you know, his reputation and fun stuff. What people don't realize is that he's really in tuned to the business because Mar Motley Crue's marketing really is what shot them to the top. Does does he share some of that stuff exactly. with you, Johnny? Does he talk to you about that? Yeah, we've been talking about, you know, my artistry and just my career lately, and he's so insightful when it comes to that. and. I think that he's got a great balance of the right brain, creative music side, but then also understanding the business as well. And so uh, he's just a great guy, really sweet. And uh, honestly, he's really quiet when you first meet him, but he's very, very smart and has definitely got a lot of experience. <laughs> a lot of years. At number two on the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown from Nashville, but now in Los Angeles, you're living there, right, Johnny? Yes, I am. All right. Gonna be the one, Johnny Michael. All the others crashed and burned. All the others didn't work out. Gotta love a lesson learned. Got no shadow for my doubt. Light up my dark side. Yeah, I wanna see you again.
Uh, Johnny Michael, good to see good things happen to good people. And that brings us to number one. World Music Stage Radio. Top 10 Countdown. <laughs> Song number one. You know, with the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown, we get interviews from all over the world. I mean, think about it. Kentucky, Germany, Iceland, Canada, Cuba, Los Angeles, Nashville, Michigan, North Carolina, Brazil. We, we literally have interviews from all over the world. And once in a while, we're lucky enough to get one in our home headquarters of Arizona. And we have KAB with us today. And when I say we have KAB with us today, we have the whole band <laughs> <laughs> with us today. Hi, guys. How you doing? Good. 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 Uh, we're going to have to share some microphones going back and forth here because you guys have me outnumbered. But I'm going to do my best. We have Pat and Scott and John and Mark and Eric from KAB. Congratulations on your success. Oh, thank, thank you, you Dave. Very much. So who's going to take the lead here? Mark. Uh, yeah, Mark. Mark. Mark in the hat's going to take the Mark in the Sinatra hat's going to take the lead. Mark, yeah. tell us about KAB. You know, um, we're friends first and foremost, so that makes it pretty special. You know, we, we've known each other uh, before we were ever in this band, and, and it's so... Uh, to have that opportunity to play with guys you love, you know, it just makes it a little sweeter. Mark, when you say you've been friends forever, and come on up there a little closer on the oh, yeah, mic, when you yeah, say yeah. you've been friends forever, like you guys hung out and, and grew up in, in Arizona together? Well, I wouldn't go that far, but uh, I've known Pat for 20 years, and uh, Scott I've known for probably 15, John for about 20 years, and Eric about 15 years now. Or oh, longer. okay. Yeah. So this is a band created on friendships. Mark, what do you do in the band? I play guitar and sing. Okay. Yeah. And, and take me around here because I'm just meeting everybody today. Eric? He, he's a lead guitar player and phenomenal. All right. Yeah. Lead guitar players are all crazy. Eric, you got to say hi. You got to hop on here and say hi, huh? Yo, hey, everybody. There he is. All right. Got to bring Eric in. And, and John, you brought your boy down today, too. I like that. Oh, yeah. He's our bodyguard. All right. And John, in the band, your position? So bass, uh, keyboards, uh, sing a little bit when they let me. All right. You do it all. You buy dinner after the gigs at Waffle House? Are I you bought, that guy? I bought smoothies on the way over here. <laughs> ah, so. see? You got to have a John in the band. All right. Scott, bring it on here. Come on. I'm a guitar player, and uh, I did the production. Well, Mark and I did the production on the record. Okay. And uh, I, I just follow Eric mostly. All right. <laughs> and Pat, you double his bodyguard because I'm not messing with you, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a the drummer and I guess the bodyguard. All right, the drummer. So you like the conversation I just had with Johnny Michael yeah. about Tommy Lee, right? Oh, definitely. All definitely. right. So KAB, we've talked about your friendship and how you guys kind of got together, and it's a, a a group of friends that made a really great band. Tell us about KAB and what you guys stand for, and where you play, and what the future holds for you. Pat, you take it on this one. Um, we play uh, mostly here in Phoenix area, and really, it's it's doing some stuff that we love to do. Sharing our music, sharing our, our uh, uh, creativity with the, our fans, and our fan base is growing uh, week after week. And um, just to being able to get out and play and, and do what we love to do has just been a, um, uh, a godsend for us. So we really appreciate that. And uh, just being able to get together, like we said, we know we, we really do like each other. We don't really we don't fight. Um, it's it's a fun time with us. So it's it's just being able to get out and play music and and see people smiling and tapping their feet and singing some of our songs when we're playing them. And it's been fun making this album. Just made a video and just released that. Um, and so that's uh, going to be hopefully getting quite a few hits. And the video views. goes up on YouTube or on what? It's TV? on YouTube now, and it's on our uh, band page on Facebook um, and on Instagram. You can just connect with us. Our um, K, uh, cabtheband.com is our web page, and you can get on there and, and access everything about us. Let's get this right right now. So you go by Cab the Band. I called you K-A-B. I'm thinking kick-ass band. It's Cab. Help it's me out here. It's, it's cab. cab. It's Cab. Okay, so I screwed that up originally. No, you're good because when you say K-A-B, that... It spells it out it's, for it's everybody. It's easier, easier to find. If you say Cab, people think C-A-B and you'll never find us. But if people are coming out to see your gig... They, it's Cab. They know us as Cab. K-A-B. Yep. Kick-Ass Band. Yep. Uh, all right, Kick-Ass Band. So John and Scott and Eric, if you guys had to name some influences for Cab, who would they be? Um, I would think Social D comes to the top, uh, near the top of the list. Uh, but then there's some, you can hear some old school country. 
and then whether it's you know, Hank Williams Jr., Johnny Cash, uh, we kind of carved our own sound. So when you had us on, we had Mark on uh, back this summer. You know, he introduced you to the term rockabilly. Yes, I remember. Uh, because yeah, it's, I it's remember got Mark. That, I remember talking to it's you. It's got to yeah. touch that southern rock, but like with some real grit. And that's where Eric and Scott just get a huge amount of credit. Uh, to our sound. When you talk about old school country, John, do you mean the attitude? Because when you get back to the Haggards and the Cashes and, you know, the the Waylands, they, they had that attitude. Oh, hell, you know, deal, man. Just just listen to that. And, and that just pours from the song. And that's um, the song that's going to be at number one. Scott, tell us about Deal, Man and where this song comes from. Well, Deal, Man was written by Adam West. Uh, and he's a friend, been a friend of the band for a while. Uh, Mark, Mark got the song, the lyrics, and decided to write the music, and we all just kind of pitched in, and bam, there it was, and it, it's such a great song, something that I don't think that we would have ever written, right? It's uh, uh, about a deal man, although in the video it's a woman, which is awesome. Makes a better video, <laughs> though, doesn't it? Two women. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> we did that on purpose. Was that, was that Eric's call? Was that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. I didn't push back. <laughs> Eric's over there going, I'm in charge of the chicks in the video. Okay, okay. Eric, you got it, man. The, right. this, the song itself is about uh, someone that just has deals going all the time. You know, they, it could be you know, car deals or it could be drug deals or whatever. Not that we're, you know advocating drug use. You right? does end up in prison at the end. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and, and uh, the video was, is kind of based off that, but we wanted to show that uh, all those deals and all that lifestyle can be negative, right? I mean, we did. Uh, so, you know, the, there's, some, there's some, uh, some things that are happening in the video that are not very um, positive. And at the end, it shows that the person is in, uh, not so happy. Right? So is it up to the listener and the viewer to interpret what deal man is? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Um, it, I'm, I'm laughing because secretly, Mark was the inspiration for the lyrics. It's, it's really about Mark, except without the drugs and the prison. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but like making the deals, making stuff happen, um, you know, make, making this band happen, you know, and... Uh, so, yeah, he's, he's blushing. So you guys so, have a song called Deal Man, but you brought me smoothies to get on the show right. today. What? I don't know if that's the rap, Making man. it happen. Making it happen. And then the, the video is eye candy for it. So. All right, so let's be really clear here. When you go to worldmusicstage.com and you search for these guys, it's K-A-B. They go by cab, right? They called them K-A-B, but spell it right because it's easier to search for them that way and they're from arizona and we're proud of it this is their tune at number one and congratulations on me and number one you guys thanks, thanks. Yeah. thank you dave yeah. right. come hang out more this is fun <laughs> definitely will i like this at number one with deal man let's check it out
Purpose comes from the thrill of the chase. I'm a war and a shaker. goes that pair of headphones <laughs> wow is that on the cd you guys just gave me Woo, that's good stuff all right cab in studio with us at number one with deal man i'm gonna hang out with the guys for a while and there it is this week's top 10 in the world music stage radio top 10 countdown i'm dave pratt and hey if you don't deserve it who does Thanks for listening to the World Music Stage Radio Top 10 Countdown. Breaking the sound barrier with your Top 10 Weekly from WorldMusicStage.com. Join us where indie music comes alive at WorldMusicStage.com. That's WorldMusicStage.com.